What's going on guys, it's Nick, and I got a video for you today on conversational AI agents and make.com. If you guys have been sleeping on conversational AI, I decided I would do a live demo where I'm getting a phone call from my appointment scheduler. Let's see how it goes. Hello? Hello, this is Carl from LeftClick. I'm calling to confirm your appointment with us tomorrow at nine o'clock. Is that still a good time for you? Yeah, nine o'clock works, thanks. Great. I've got you down for tomorrow at nine o'clock then. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that should be okay. Thank you. Wonderful. I'm glad we were able to confirm your appointment. Have a great rest of your day, Nick. You Goodbye. too. Bye bye. Okay, so as you can see, I uh, set up a phone call in make.com to give me a ring and confirm an appointment for 9 a.m. I'll also show you how to jump in, pull data out of that phone call confirm whether or not, let's say, an appointment needs to be rescheduled, if it is rescheduled, what the time uh, that the person you know suggests for the reschedule is, and generally just do a bunch of cool shit with voice and make.com on the internet. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, so the success of this hinges on a wonderful platform that has recently gained a ton of notoriety called Bland.ai. And essentially, they have an AI agent here, which they're referring to as Blandy, which I personally think they are anything but bland. These guys are hilarious. Um, and then you can just send or receive phone calls using their service. It's a one-click sort of API integration where you just grab the API key, dump it into make.com, a couple parameters that we might have screwed around with if you're unfamiliar with APIs. That's cool, I'll walk you through it. And at the end, you can have like a conversational AI agent that like goes out, asks for things, collects information, and then you can actually just analyze that information and use it to like update a spreadsheet or something too. So super cool. Uh, we are currently sitting on the cusp of like an AI revolution. And so I think gaining knowledge and skill in this area is probably one of the most important, impactful things you can do. Uh, and yeah, I just figured it was like right place, right time. So let's dive into how to actually build out a solution using this service. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pretend that like I have a big Google sheet with phone numbers. Uh, we're then just gonna call the phone number and then Maybe we'll have instructions for each phone call as well. And then based off of the information in that phone call, maybe we'll do some else, something else, some update. Kind of depends how I feel and how long the video is. All right, all right, so no further ado. First thing you gotta do is jump on a bland.ai. Um, if you've never used this before, obviously just go start for free. It'll ask you to put in a bunch of information, including your first name, last name, email, phone number, all that fun stuff. So when you do it, they'll give you a couple dollars in free credits just so that you can start sending and receiving and sort of be wowed by how amazing the technology is. Um, after that, what you're gonna wanna do is head over to the home. You'll see a home page kind of like this. And then all you need to do is just go down to um, your little profile and then go to API keys. Then go to API key here. And then you have your secret key. And this secret key is just all you need in order to interact with the Bland APIs. So super easy. Uh, you can copy it and then you know use it in the flow that I'm about to show you. But yeah, that's about that. Obviously, you know this is really exciting technology. I don't have the time to cover every single one of these tabs, but uh, there's a lot that you can do here. You can like test out flows. You can set pathways. You can control the flow of a conversation a lot more if you don't want it just to be like a random call like I just did. Um, there, there's a lot you can do. So definitely go in and check it out. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this Google Sheet here, which has it's just going to be uh, two columns, one with phone numbers and then one with instructions. And then uh, we're just gonna go in and then for every row in this sheet, we're gonna pull the data and then have Bland give that phone number a phone call with the instructions. So you can imagine how, you know, you might be able to build out a much more complex flow like this where you have some CRM and the CRM is responsible for doing something. I don't know, logging call information or seeing where a person is at a specific step in the pipeline. What you could theoretically do is you could take that CRM data, like the whole update log, like called Peter on such and such day, he said this, you know, Peter seems a little ambivalent, gonna follow up with him on Friday. You could feed all this information into GPT-4 and then have it just like summarize um, into a list of next step instructions. What you could do then is you could have that next step instruction go right here on this Google Sheet, maybe in like an instructions column. Uh, and then you could use that to like give the, the prospect a call and maybe follow up. Or you could do it much simpler. You could just have you know, an integration like I set up just now that calls people to confirm um, times that they're available or, or whatever. Uh, I guess the point I'm making is that the potential here is quite limitless, completely honestly, uh, which is pretty sweet. 
So anyway, uh, the instruction that I'm gonna post here is you're an appointment schedule for left click. Ask how the client is doing and confirm his appointment tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. If he's unable to make it, reschedule. And then I also provided just some, some availabilities over here. Then wish them a nice day. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. The cool part about this is you're just kind of coding in natural language now. We don't need to be like a natural language proficient you know, AI engineer with 50 years of experience here. Uh, we can literally just write what we want it to do and it'll probably do a pretty reasonable job. So that's pretty sick. Now we're gonna take this bland.ai Google Sheet and I'm gonna use it as a data source to actually go and then build out the rest of this integration. So all I need to do here is I have a scenario set up that's titled number one, launch bland.ai call. Then I have a Google Sheets um, search rows module. And what I'm gonna do is, oh, I actually don't know if I set this up right. Let me just share it here and then send this to my email address first. There we go. I'll jump back over here and I'm just gonna set this up. So. Let me close this down. Uh, we'll just pretend that this is my drive. And then I think bland.a, I don't actually know. I might have to refresh this. Let me do some searching, bland.a example, there we go. So I'm finding the specific spreadsheet. What I'm gonna do is grab the sheet name. The table does contain headers because we have the phone number and we have the instructions. And then for now, I'm just gonna return one row. And then I'm just gonna run this module in isolation just to confirm that it works. Okay, great, so I just ran it. I received a single bundle, which is good. I received a phone number with my personal phone number. Please do not hit me up. Uh, then instructions saying, you're an appointment schedule for left click, ask how the client's doing. Okay, great. We have everything that we need now to do this HTTP integration. Now, in order to you know, get the syntax for this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to their API documentation, which you can find at docs.land.ai slash API-v1 slash post. Uh, and then there's just a bunch of different things that you can do here. Um, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this V1 API reference, then scroll down and just take a look at all of these API endpoints. You could send a call, simple. You could send a call using Pathways. Pathways is like their way to route calls depending on people's answer, which is quite brilliant, honestly. Um, then there are some longer API endpoints, like send a call. You'll see it's not simple, so we actually have a bunch of things we can do. We can select a specific model. We could change the voice. We can do all this fun stuff, and I'll actually leave that for you guys to try, because I want this just to be an introductory video. I don't want this to be like two hours, but you can literally like change how quickly people, how quickly the model responds. The faster it responds, typically the dumber it gets, but you can like go really far and really nuance with this. Like you could do a lot here. Um, treat it just like you would the OpenAI API. Um, there are that many different features here. Anyway, you can then analyze the call with API, uh, with AI, and this is a really cool feature. Um, basically, what you can do is you can feed in a call transcript back into another AI module, and you can ask it information. So you can do stuff like, um, hey, uh, you know, in my, in my reschedule example, you could say, hey, you know, did the customer want to reschedule? And then if the answer to that is yes, then you can also go in and then analyze and pull out, okay, well, what time do they want to reschedule for? And then maybe it's like 11 a.m. You could then use that and make to pull that data and then use that to like update a freaking calendar, right? So things here are basically limitless. I'll just show you how to use the send call simple endpoint for now. And I'll kind of take it from there. On the right-hand side here, we see like the curl um, details. And basically what we need to do is we need to call this endpoint, https colon backslash backslash api.bland.ai slash v1 slash calls. And so this is going to be the API that we're going to call. So I'm just gonna copy this in, and then I'm gonna go over here and make an HTTP request module. Just pump that in. And then I'm going to go down and make a request. And then connect it. This is the URL. And then we have a bunch of settings that we need to change here if we want this to work. So I'm gonna go over here and just make this, you know, put this right next uh, to me so it's a little bit faster. First thing we need to do is we need to add a couple of headers. And so the headers here are content type application JSON. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna headers. You can also uh, just change this by using this, but I'm just gonna try and be as like accurate as possible. So just gonna copy and paste these headers in. And then there's also an authorization string. That authorization is going to be our API key, which I have up here. I'm just gonna copy this in. And then I'm going to paste this. And now we have everything that we, we should need to interact with the API. Oh, sorry, we actually need uh, two more. We need the data. Um, oh, and we also need it to be posts, so we're gonna have to change that. So um, we're gonna have to change this method from get to post. There we go. And then we're also gonna have to add in some data in JSON format with phone number task string, uh, which is great. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go to body type raw, content type, JSON application, JSON. 
and then I'm going to paste in this. And you'll see here that we put a string in the phone number and we also put a string in the task. Well, if you remember, we have that data from um, our sheet. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the phone number that I got here. Then I'm also going to use the task that I have under instructions. And then um, I think that's it. Yeah, I believe that's all we need. It may bug out because I've written content type application JSON up here, and then I also have to select that down here. So we'll give that a try. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let's run once and let's see what happens. Let me just get my phone out just in case. Just in case I get a call from our AI overlords. Uh, okay, great. It says uh, status call successfully cube. We got the call ID here. We got everything. And I just received a call from Washington. Let's just pick that up and just verify that this prompt worked. Oh, this is left click appointment scheduling. How are you doing today? Hey, man, I'm doing really good. Thanks so much. What's this about? Great to hear you're doing well. I'm calling to confirm your appointment with us tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning. Does that time still work for you? Yeah, I can't actually make 9.30. Could we do 12.45? No, scratch that. 1 o'clock? Okay, no problem. Let's go ahead and reschedule your appointment to 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Does that work better for you? Yeah, sounds good. Book me in. Book me in. Okay, I've gone ahead and booked your appointment for 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Nope, that's okay. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Great. I'm glad I could help. Have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs> Man, the way that it says has, have a wonderful rest of the day, it's like it's like secretly plotting to murder me and everybody that I know. <laughs> have a wonderful rest of the day. Anyway, obviously that worked. Um, keep in mind, because we're now interfacing with the real world, the testing loop is a little bit longer, so we actually have to go in, deal with AI, come back to this. It's not as quick as just like looking at an output, right? Uh, but that, that looks pretty good to me. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that went. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And I basically just already queued up the, queued up the thing. Um, I think just given the length of this video, why don't I actually go in and then do the analyze call as well and just see how that goes. So um, now that I have the reschedule in, why don't I figure out what time I rescheduled for? The way that you do it is, let's call this endpoint here with uh, the analyze call with AI endpoint anyway. So I'm just gonna actually copy this, paste this in. This is the quickest way to do this sort of work. Um, just copy and paste the, uh, the previous modules because odds are most of the other API stuff is gonna be the same. So content type's the same, authorization's gonna be the same. We'll do goal uh, and then we'll do questions. So I'm a little bit, 50-50 on what the goal would be. I don't really know. The overall purpose of the call provides context for the analysis to guide other questions, transcripts, or interpret. Okay, yeah, that's pretty simple. So let's go down here. Um, the goal is just going to be um, identify if the call was rescheduled, and if so, what time it was rescheduled for. Write the time in military 24-hour format. So. 13 o'clock, i.e. 13 o'clock. Th this should help. Um, and then we have a couple of questions to be analyzed for the call. So we'll do who answered the call. It'll be kind of human or voicemail. So, oh, I guess you can kind of define like one or the other. Positive feedback over the product, negative feedback over the product. This is like a customer survey example. Um, but I'm just gonna go questions. Let me just check this out, questions. This is going to be a, an array, looks like. And then inside of the array, the first question is going to be like, um, was the appointment, oh, sorry, I should actually write, was the appointment rescheduled? Was the appointment rescheduled? And then we'll have another item, and that'll be like, Sorry, let me just make sure I, I got this format down. True or false. And then what time was the appointment rescheduled to? And then uh, it should just be a string. Okay, I don't know if my formatting is right here, so I'm gonna go to just JSON formatter, uh, which is just a service that you 
pump in your JSON, and then if you click Format Beautify, and, it, and if it goes through, then you know that it's formatted correctly. So it's just a quick and easy way that I space it out and make it look sexy. Um, so, okay, we got the goal. Identify the appointments rescheduled, and if so, what time is rescheduled for? Write the time in military 24-hour format, i.e. 13 o'clock. Questions, was the appointment rescheduled, true or false? If so, what was the appointment rescheduled to string? I don't actually know if this is gonna work, but I think it will. The last thing we need to do is we need to grab the call ID. Um, if you look back on the output of this, then you'll see that one of the parameters was the call ID. And so if we wanna get this, sorry, we need to parse the previous module. So I'm gonna add a parse JSON module here. And then I'm gonna grab this data And then um, I'm just gonna do all this in one jump here. Uh, there will be a variable called call underscore ID, and that's what we're looking for. So this call ID will be um, curly brace, curly brace, six dot call underscore ID. Curly brace, curly brace. Oh. There's some issue here with the formatting for some reason. So let me just paste this up here. 6.call underscore ID. Okay, cool. Should be fine. Sometimes that happens with make.com. Um, anywho, let's do that. And then what I want to do here is I actually just want to test this first. And I can test this because I have the old call ID of this run. So I'm going to copy it in, and then I'm going to run this. And then my call ID is just going to be this big, long string. And so now it's actually going over the transcript. And then it's essentially identifying whether or not uh, this worked. So, okay, status, um, success, message, successfully analyze the call answers are that the call was rescheduled, true, and that um, it was rescheduled for 13 o'clock, which is awesome. So you can imagine how now, if we were to put a parse JSON module after this, so, so copy this puppy, paste that in, now we'd be able to get the, um, the answer here which is true or 13 o'clock. And then what we could do is we could conditionally route this and say, you know, or filter it. And we could say, hey, if true, and only if true, then go into our CRM and update the meeting, right? So pretty exciting stuff, guys. You can do a lot with this shit, and it's freaking awesome. Um, the last thing that I would do is if you wanted to run this in practice, you'd probably need a sleep module in between here. Um, so maybe a sleep module, and then you might want to run the, I don't know. You don't know how long this thing's going to be talking to the AI. It'll probably be talking about it. <laughs> You call some people, they'll be like, my wife left me. And we'll be like, oh, it's okay. Like, what do you want to, how can I help you, right? So maybe we want to like have this be 300 seconds or maybe we even want to do longer. Maybe you want to like call some other service, wait for like 20 minutes or something and then, you know, do that extra request. Um, I'll uh, get the blueprint for you. Uh, I'm not going to include my own API key, obviously, and I'm going to like um, uh, deprecate mine. So, you know, you guys can't do that. But let me just rename all these so that you guys just have all the information you need to do this. So this will be call customer, and then this one will be analyze call contents. And then why don't I also parse this JSON just so it's a lot easier for you guys to take. Let's do that. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, whatever your personal ethical interpretation of the fact that you can now have AI call people on your behalf, whatever that is, let's just all agree that whoever controls this sort of thing and whoever knows how to use this sort of thing will grow undoubtedly very economically powerful in the future. So uh, it is probably in your best interest to pick up this AI shit lickety split. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about maybe other ways that we could use AI, uh, feel free to drop them down below as a comment. I love sourcing ideas from you guys. I actually sourced bland.ai from somebody in my comments like quite a while ago and I just totally forgot about it. So yeah, you know, if you guys want to see a video at some point in time, I'll just add it to my queue and, and get to it eventually. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, and hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day. Cheers.